Hey friends, SGT Report here with just a very quick update. I'm going to cover much of the latest from Q in an interview that I'll release tomorrow, but I just want to discuss a couple of very important points here quickly tonight. First of all, this tweet from Kevin Shipp, former CIA. He calls Christine Ford specifically a liar, and we know she is. More on that in a second. He tweeted, Ford is not just a liar. She is a puppet. As a former CIA polygraph examiner with a master's level degree in forensic psychophysiology, I can tell you with certainty she has been coached to lie. Also, note her breathing during the questions. Guys, the point I want to make is this. It's very entertaining to watch the liar be called out for her lies. For instance, we know she got caught lying about the need for a second front door. The second front door was all related to a home remodel where they added on square footage and needed an alternative front door entry and exit for renters. It had nothing to do with Kavanaugh. But here's the bottom line. These far left Democrats are out of their minds and they're so intellectually dishonest because again, they want to taint Kavanaugh as being somebody who wasn't truthful during his testimony and during this nomination period leading up to his confirmation. And what happens when President Trump addresses just that very fact? Well, here's CIA operative Anderson Cooper basically trying to call it an outrage that Trump would dare say this. 36 years ago, this happened. I had one beer, right? I had one beer. Well, you think it was, nope, it was one beer. Oh, good. How did you get home? I don't remember. How'd you get there? I don't remember. Where is the place? I don't remember. How many years ago was it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What neighborhood was it in? I don't know. Where's the house? I don't know. Upstairs, downstairs, where was it? I don't know. But I had one beer. That's the only thing I remember. And a man's life is in tatters. A man's life is shattered. His wife is shattered. His daughters, who are beautiful, incredible young kids. They destroy people. They want to destroy people. These are really evil people. How dare you, President Trump? It's just so ridiculous. But that's why there's going to be a red wave in November, because more and more Americans, women included, are waking up to this farce. Now, here's the really good news. I want to read this to you guys from Neon Revolt. If you've been following SGTReport.com for any period of time, then you've also been following Neon Revolt. We post all of Neon Revolt's articles at the very top of SGT Report. And this is from the latest today. And in this one from Neon Revolt, the author calls to our attention Imperator Rex from over on Twitter. And Rex does some terrific work. I just want to read this to you about what's possibly actually going on here as it pertains to the FBI investigation of Kavanaugh, which really is most likely an investigation of Feinstein. I'll take you through this quickly. Leftists and their short memories. If you were to believe the fake news, you'd be thinking the FBI investigation into Dr. Fraud, that's Christine, began just a few days ago, started by Trump. What if I were to tell you that it started on September 12th, weeks ago? And Rex says in the second entry, the best bit? It was Senator Feinstein herself who instigated it. But until the last 24 hours, has had no idea that the investigation has been about her all along. Remember September 12th? It was Feinstein who sent Dr. Fraud's letter to the FBI. Rex goes on to say, this was an orchestrated Dem fake news hit. Within hours on September 13th, we have the New Yorker, Mayor and Farrow, Ronan Farrow, and New York Times, Schmidt, and CNN and others hyping up Feinstein's referral to the FBI of a letter by then Anon accuser, Dr. Fraud. Rex says the intercept also appears to be involved. Somehow, all of these outlets were aware that the Anon's letter had been referred by Feinstein's office to the FBI. But here's the clever bit. Can you recall the FBI's response? We passed it on to the White House to add to the file. Nothing to see here. You know what I think? That was a feint. I had to look that up, guys. It's a term I hadn't heard before. A deceptive or pretended blow, thrust, or other movement, especially in boxing or fencing, to make a deceptive or distracting movement typically during a fight. Rex says the FBI did start an investigation. But the FBI investigation was into Dr. Fraud and her co-conspirators being Democrat politicians and lawyers. It started as soon as Feinstein sent them that letter. And Feinstein, as well as the others involved, were duped. That would explain Trump's enthusiasm for a full-scale probe into what's gone on with his encouragement of the FBI interviewing as many people as they want to finish by the close of this week. 
And Rex says, it would also explain Feinstein's panic demand to know the full details of Trump's order. Bad luck, Hag. You'll never get it, especially if you are one of the subjects of the FBI investigation. It also explains Trump's repeated reference to Feinstein leaking the Ford letter. I think he knows everything that has gone down and that the FBI have been informing him the whole time in his briefings. Rex concludes, if I am right, it means the FBI had been conducting a full-scale investigation into a deliberate Democrat scheme to destroy an innocent citizen since at least the 12th or 13th. This would include fake news and paid conspirators such as Dr. Fraud herself. The best bit? Drunk on arrogance and using a pre-Trump playbook, these Democrat fools have totally failed to work out that they've been played. And now they are terrified. We will learn the truth soon enough. Stay tuned. MAGA, the end. Friends, I wanted to share that with you because as Q says, stay tuned and watch. Red October is upon us. And I want to conclude with this from The Drive. Last week in downtown Chicago, where Black Hawk helicopter exercises right in the heart of the city. Many Chicagoans on Twitter videotaped the activity and everybody was very confused and puzzled as to why this was happening in downtown Chicago. This article from The Drive says, here's what that commando laden UH-60 Black Hawk was doing whipping around Chicago. And actually, as you get into the article, they don't really have an answer. They don't know what was going on but I'll go to the bottom of the article where they draw a very important conclusion. And I want you to remember all of the sealed indictments and all of the Democrat and all of the criminality in Washington, DC, as I read this paragraph to you. The UH-60M Blackhawk photographed and filmed all over Chicago does not appear to belong to the United States Army. The configuration of its antennas is unique and it does not have any army titles or serials on it. Over the last decade, a number of UH-60s of various subtypes have been transferred from the DOD to federal agencies like the Department of Justice. The DOJ has also bought UH-60Ms by piggybacking on the Army's buys. This appears to be one of those aircraft. Friends, as you watch this footage, I want to read just a sentence from this article for you. In this case, broad daylight was the setting and it seems pretty clear this wasn't a Department of Defense affair. Instead, it looks like a federal operation. I'll conclude by leaving you with this, friends. If your name is among those in the thousands of sealed indictments, if your name is being bandied about in the Oval Office as being one of the traitors to our nation, if your name is Hillary Clinton, John Podesta, Tony Podesta, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Adam Schiff, or any of the other politicians guilty of high crimes and misdemeanors, you're probably not sleeping very well as you watch this footage of DOJ Blackhawks practice landings and extractions from major U.S. cities. Red October is upon you. God bless, guys. Thanks for watching. And for real news 24-7, visit us at sgtreport.com. I would love to know what uh, Uma was told to tell him because they can't use the regular forms of communication anymore because everything is being listened to. So really, really exciting times in the battle between good guys and bad guys.